Hello and salam, Saeed of the Musafir here. So chances are, if you look visibly Muslim in any way and you're living in the West, you've probably heard some variation of the following. I think we would all be better off if people would go back to where they came from. Well, guess what, guys? I'm back. I am back in Pakistan. And no, it is not because some random bigot said so. I have taught middle school. You guys cannot hurt me. But yeah, we're back in Pakistan to get reacquainted with the motherland. And in this video, I am talking all about my first impressions. Now, be forewarned that these, this part one is all of the things that I'm not liking so much about Islamabad. I'm sorry. So if you are a proud Pakistani, I am proud of you. Aap thanda pani pee le, just calm down, take it easy, and come back and see me in the next video, part two, where I will be talking about all of the many, many things that I do love about Pakistan and even here in Islamabad. So without further ado, let's get into the five things that I find kind of difficult about being here in Islamabad. And definitely watch till the end because the last one nearly gave me a heart attack. All right, number one is the pollution. So the pollution in Islamabad itself is not that bad on like a daily basis, but there are some days where it's like really, really bad. I think it might have to do something with the geography. It's like in a valley surrounded by mountains. And there was one day we were going out. We couldn't even roll down the windows in the car as we were going. And we were walking outside from one shop to the next shop, like literally a maybe five minute walk. And my lungs were hurting, you guys. I know I may be a little more sensitive. I do have have asthma but still like you can see the smog and the pollution in the air it's pretty bad fun fact Pakistan is actually home to the most po most polluted city in the world and that is Lahore uh, living in Lahore at the moment can take like five to seven years off your life yikes still a city very worth seeing but yeah i am just like not a fan of the pollution but some days are very very clear here in Islamabad. i have to say some days you just feel like fresh mountain air the weather is lovely right now in april too so that's cool okay number two and i didn't realize this would hit me so hard but um pakistan has a way of just putting poverty like right up in your face in other countries even in the united states there is extreme poverty but it's kind of uh at least until recently just just a little bit more hidden and here there is a lot of begging um now the issue is there's a big begging mafia so the people that you see like the barefooted little child that's asking for money that child is actually probably most likely enslaved by some mafia boss who has placed that person there to ask for money and they're the one getting the reward that money is not actually going to help that poor individual walking around you just feel like such intense guilt I end up feeling nauseous and i get a stomach ache like it's it's really you know it's it's rough like it's it's a lot to take in there's also such a vast disparity between the ultra ultra rich in pakistan and the extremely impoverished and i'm not an economics expert by any means but i think there has to be some way to fix this i just wish there was more that we could do all right, number three, the layout and aesthetic feel of Islamabad is so different from other cities in Pakistan uh, because it's actually the newest city in Pakistan. It was built in the 1950s as the second capital, so they moved it from Karachi to here, and it was planned by a Greek architect. So the whole city is, it's super organized. It's actually fairly clean, uh, but it's organized into these blocks like F6, F7, G11, G8, and the whole city feels like an Excel spreadsheet sheet and all the buildings are just this little bit of a monotony of gray and beige and white buildings and while some people prefer that it's like this guy on reddit said that Islamabad feels like a desi bureaucrat's idea of what a first world place should look like and I totally agree because I think in trying to modernize and mimic like western architecture We've lost so much of the authentic beauty of Pakistani architecture and Islamic architecture that is so prevalent in other older cities like Lahore, in Karachi, even in Rawalpindi. And it's just, sure, those buildings are like dilapidated and crumbling, but there is so much harm. That's something that a lot of people feel when they come to Islamabad, like there's no John here, like there's no life, there's no vibrancy. And I'll, I'll take the Karachi chaos, it's okay. 
Okay, number four is more of a neighborhood problem for us. I don't want to say this is an issue all over Pakistan or all over Islamabad, but there's a bad smell here, okay? So right next to our apartment is the Nalla. What is the Nalla, you might ask? It's this open creek over a ground sewage line thingy and let me tell you the smell is really bad like it's it's noxious and there's a certain time of the day where the wind blows a certain way right to our apartment all the doors and windows are closed but that smell gets in it takes up residence in your nose lives there rent free and it is so bad we have like look we got candles we got reed diffusers Nothing's really working. It's very stinky. So if you are coming to Pakistan, pay attention to where you book your accommodation and make sure it's not like right next to a nalla. You might think, oh, it looks like a creek. That's beautiful. Uh, no, it's stinky. Okay, and the last one, the one that freaked me out. On our very first day here, we had an uninvited intruder in the house. And yes, it was a lizard. No, God, please, no, no. And before you guys laugh, I know lizards are super common all over Pakistan. Listen, they're common in California too, but those lizards are well behaved and they stay outside. We only see them scuttling around in the backyard or the sidewalk. They don't come in the house. This lizard, I open the kitchen door and he's just up there uh, at the ceiling like, hey, what's for lunch? Uh-uh. I just grab my husband, put him in the kitchen. I'm like, take some bug spray, do something. with. He's trying to handle the situation. I texted our Airbnb host and he thankfully responded right away and said, I'll send some building maintenance guys over to take it out. And that's kind of, he's actually really nice, you guys, alhamdulillah, because he, most people would just be like, um, lizards are common, deal with it. So he sent some guy over with a broom and another little doohickey and he like managed to get the lizard and take it outside. Um, I don't believe in this. I'm not here for it. I was not ready. Yeah, so that's a big adjustment for me. I'm like not a fan of wildlife whatsoever. Oh, there actually is one more thing that's bumming me out. So I lied, there's actually a sixth point. I did grow up in the West and I am accustomed to going out on my own. And I've easily and safely walked around so many cities around the world, Istanbul and Athens and Kuala Lumpur, uh, not Cairo, but anyway, I am used to doing that. I love walking around the city taking pictures that's my me time uh, but I noticed here that not only do women not go out on their own uh, unless they're in their car with their driver or they are with other female relatives or a male relative but like, so I, I don't I don't really see very many people walking around the city Pretty much the only people that are walking are those who don't have cars. And also it's not a very pedestrian friendly city. Uh, there are some areas with sidewalks, but for the most part you're dealing with very like uneven pavement and so there you have it that is my first take of Islamabad after being here for about a week and like I said I will make a video about all of the positives about this capital city of Pakistan as well let me know in the comments as well if there is something that you want to know about Pakistan or something you're curious about maybe you're considering also visiting here it's definitely much safer than the media and the western world will have you think it's actually it depends where you go but so far Islamabad has been perfectly safe for us going out as a family. Also, I know I'm a spoiled burger Amriki kid and my experience is very different from the lived experience of people who are native to Pakistan who have lived here their whole lives and I would never be so presumptuous as to try to speak on behalf of all Pakistani people. This is just my initial experience and impressions of being here for the first time in like 15 years. And at the end of the day, I do have a deep love for Pakistan. Pakistan is Pakistan. With all the love, warmth, people with hearts of gold, and amazing, amazing food at every turn, it's such a country worth visiting, despite any small inconveniences. Anyway, I can't wait to share all of my explorations of Pakistan and show you guys more of Islamabad, especially as we are in the last few days of Ramadan and coming on to Eid, inshallah. So do like this video and please subscribe to my channel. That helps out a lot with the algorithm. And inshallah, I'll see you guys next time. Follow Musafir. Assalamu alaikum.